Hey arm wrestlers, this is my workout in preparation for East versus West 14. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. So first exercise was uh, cable pull downs, three sets of six, going pretty heavy. Uh, I don't care about full range of motion. I like to work from 90 degrees down um, and going really, really heavy, three sets of six. That one, I like my general exercise really heavy because I don't do them a lot. So I like the stimulus they give me. The second exercise on the table lifts throughout pronation uh, so we have this strap it's set up uh, over my thumb and the whole idea of this one is to keep my arm in about 90 degree or even closer angle you can see on my right arm it's about 90 degrees with my right arm i'm not a great top roller i'm still struggling with some stuff see you can see my shoulder rolling backwards with my left uh, we can see this from this angle but my arm stays in good position that's what i'm working on i want to stay tight and close um, easily to increase weight problem is you lose pronation so the whole idea of this exercise is my pronation doesn't budge if I go backwards my pronation stays where it should be uh, it is protected and at the end I try to curl it a little bit more like rotate it just a little bit more um, this is not for me to you know practice some kind of top roll it's for me to learn to protect my pronator a little bit better um, of course, I still can top roll with my right because I at some point was the top roll king. But this is nothing specific I'm doing for Ryan. It's just something I'm doing here. Uh, second exercise is same back pressure lifts on table. Uh, as you see, I set up this strap. I double loop it and put one part on my wrist, one part on my hand. I like it because it mimics how the strap works. For me, this is probably the best exercise I do. Uh, and I like uh, because it feels like straps, so I feel much better in the straps than outside the straps. Um, here I went pretty heavy. I don't remember the weights, but again, by holding and keeping my angles tight, uh, not letting them go out a little more than 90 degrees, that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I, what I achieved here. Uh, weights were, if I'm correct, about 45, 50 kilos real weights. I can do much more, but then my angle will be open and it will be more than 90 degrees. And this is not what I'm working on. This is not what I want for my arms and training. So um, that is the main focus here. You can always go heavier, but you most likely will sacrifice your technique. Uh, then I continue again, general exercises, uh, low cable pull downs, added resistance band at the end. It adds so much tension at the end. It's crazy. You have to go really heavy i'm not really thinking about technique just kind of going through uh, if you follow me you know i hate biceps as you can tell by my physique <laughs> and uh, i'm not really i'm an inside puller but i'm not a hook arm wrestler in, with a bicep so uh, here i'm working partials uh, about 60 kilo was last three sets of six uh, nothing too crazy nothing too heavy uh, just trying to get the control and feel of it uh, then I continue with uh, lifts, back pressure lifts, full range to the riser. Uh, three sets of eight. My riser was cooked from my previous training, so I hoped I would do more, but this was as much uh, and as good as I could do. Um, I, I like to incorporate these because I'm very used to pulling with my wrist down, a little bit of like a pistol grip, but... Um, Sometimes it puts, puts me in a huge disadvantage, so I just like to do these. Uh, I'm not like, my riser has never been strong and slowly I feel it's improving. For one rep, I can do about like 30 kilos, and, which is good for me. Uh, then one of general exercises, full range bicep curl with supination. The whole idea is to work on my supination, um, going full range, going all the way down, going all the way up. I think I worked my way up to 30 kilos, this is me working with 28s, uh, and I did like four sets of these. Um, my shoulder on my right arm has been issue. Again, if you follow me, you know this already uh, for quite some time. So now I'm doing physical therapy, and probably this was the biggest weight I have done with my right arm in a long time. As you can see, I'm still struggling, which is weird. My right arm is strong in all the inside moments. Uh, then isolated pronation. I had static pronation and here it's isolated. So if you're looking at this workout and you're thinking like, okay, why is he doing this and that? It, it comes in context with all the, all the things that I do 
all throughout the week. So I took away uh, two training days of mine and I incorporated rest days because I, I think not only my physically I was too tired, but also mentally. So now I'm working out five days a week, four lifting days uh, and one pulling day. Um, I'm going to explain to those. If you want to see more of these workouts, I'm going to show them. So here's isolated pronation. All I'm focusing on is to pronate with my hand and not to pronate with my shoulder. Because uh, a lot of people will just kind of dip to the side and that's it. Uh, then I finished with some cupping uh, here. Uh, I want to keep my forearm high. I feel like that's the last engagement, like the least engagement I can get from my side pressure and everything else. This is why I have my elbow over the, over the front of the pad and I'm trying to keep it there. Um, these I like, uh, feels really good. I try to keep the handle inside my wrist. It is about 35 millimeter handle. So what is it? One and a half inch or something like that. So yeah, um, did five sets of these and then I need to finish up with some um, multi-spinner supinated curls. So I, I like these because this is how I arm muscle. I attack through my small finger and my opponent's pronator and uh, you can never get, you know, you, you always want to get stronger. So I switch up every week. I have different sizes of multi-spinners. Uh, sometimes I'll wrap it. Sometimes I'll just uh, uh, hold it in my hand, uh, wind it and hold it in my hand. So yeah, this is it. Uh, my workouts. Stay strong. Love Armor Slink. If you want to see more, let me know and see you on East West West 14.